Number 6. Yosuga no Sora. Okay, can someone just tell me why this show wasn't a hentai? Seriously, you want me to fill you in on what it's about? Well, it's about a guy named Haru Kasunago who moves in with his sister Sora in a smaller town where they spent their childhood summers back with their grandfather when they were kids. Now, they moved back there together on their own after, you guessed it, their parents both died and now they're on their own. The anime just shows multiple different arcs of Haru getting a relationship with a few girls he knew in the past. Migiwa, Akira, and Nao. Kind of like the same perspective of the storytelling in Higurashi. Except in Higurashi, the arc ends with everyone dying, whereas in this piece of crap, it ends with him having sex with them. And yes, it does actually show nudity in the sex scenes. Moving on to number 5 now. Wait, what? I forgot something? Oh yeah, there's one more girl I forgot to mention, he screws. You'll never guess it. He screws his sister. And no, it's not his half-sister. It's not his stepsister. It's not his Sword Art Online cousin sister. It's actually his blood related sister. You made out with your sister, man! Yeah, honestly, why wasn't this show a hentai? I'm saying this because if this was categorized as a hentai, I wouldn't have bashed on it as much. Come on, incest, as very wrong as it is, would be nothing compared to some other shit you'll see in hentai. Either way, dude, come on, she's your freaking sister. But what also is really laughable about the show is that they play dramatic music for when he has sex with them or when he's fiddling around with his sister. As if we're supposed to feel bad and care about them and support their relationship. Remember my top 10 anime soundtracks? I said music changes the mood sometimes in anime or any show you're watching. Well, this is a good example of an anime that tried to do that and failed. Another problem I had was how much annoying Sora was. She leeches onto Haru to be there for her because her body's weak and she says she can't do anything or make any friends. She'll be alone if Haru got a relationship with the other girls and he'll forget about her. That's why she says so much and annoys me when it won't actually happen. And her incestual jealousy was just wow. And she can make friends if she went out to school because every other character had a good relationship with her. She's just a bitch to everyone. Oh yeah. Weak body my ass. Sora. Sometimes I wish she would just get slapped some sense into her. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. To top this all off, it ended very terribly. I can't even explain in words how bad it was, so I'm just gonna move on. Number 5. Toko. Okay, for those of you that don't know, horror, psychological, and thriller are my favorite genres in anime. But the fact is, that doesn't mean I like all animes under that genre. Toko definitely falls under one of those titles. And there's a bunch of reasons why it's on this list. God awfully boring characters, bad soundtrack, below mediocre animation, and a confusing story. Now when I first watched this, I'll admit I liked it in the first few episodes. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty much about a group of mages assembling 106 pieces of mystic box in which in doing so, demonic monsters come out and wreak havoc. The monsters can release these white spawns out of them called phantoms or something. I don't know what the hell they're called actually, screw it. And they can go into humans and in that case, they technically become zombies on crack. Bullets will not work on them even if you shoot them in the head. Basically, the only way to get rid of them is to slash them to pieces and decapitate them with a sword. That's why there's a top secret organization that deals with these called Toko. <laughs> Toko's a title. And to be honest, they have about 10 different names for it, I don't even care. Because by the time I was a few episodes in, I realized is that this anime is just a mindless bloodshed action. But oh boy, I will admit when this show wants to be creepy and scary, it does it well. Just look at these. Yeah, 
こうしてこんなことに<laughs> So I gotta give it some credit for a dark scare factor. Now, a lot of reasons why this show sucks. The main guy is just boring and bland. Basically, everyone in the show is forgettable. Honestly, the only one I remember well is Kuraha. Because of her great personality. Anyways, if these white phantom things are this easy to crush like jelly, how the fuck can it go in your body so easily? Because obviously, you're gonna struggle. How weak do you have to be for them to enter you? Come on, seriously, just look. <laughs> Another reason why this show sucks the ending. Actually, wait, you guys want me to spoil the ending for you? Here it is. There's no ending to spoil! The last fight with the evil old guy, which portrayed the devil, and the main character was about to happen. I was so excited to see it, then they just cut it off, and then you know what? Here I'll show you. This is the ending. なお、国土交通省の発表によりますと、拡大を続けていた町田大型団地の崩落は収束したものと観測されており、視覚変動によって生じたと思われると発表しました。どういうことですか?何度も言わせるな。今回も大型目はなしだ。そういうこと <笑> <警部。笑> お前を必ずお兄ちゃんこれで終わると思うまだ続くわ間違いなくお兄ちゃん You wasted my time watching why I know what happens. Then I get this terrible cliffhanger ending? F*** you. Actually, I won't even call this a cliffhanger. Because that itself would be an insult to the word cliffhanger. You know what? I'm not even gonna say anymore. I'm just gonna say stay away from this disappointing piece of crap. Number 4 Yet another one I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for. Yeah, whatever, I stand by it. Number 4 Lucky Star. I swear, this show literally tried to commit murder on me. Because this show is just so boring that it physically hurt me as a human being. Why is this shit rated so high? Seriously, why? It's just a show about four stupid colorful girls talking about nothing or pointless garbage. And I've heard people say this is the Seinfeld of anime. Except it's not funny at all. It's just four girls doing random everyday stuff and we're supposed to think it's funny and cute? No, the references were not at all funny either. I will admit, there was time that chuckled slightly once every 10 episodes, but I was already half asleep by then. Now, there's no story at all either, which tortured me even more because 100% of the time I watch anime is because of the story and or the characters. And for the record, let me just flat out say, there's nothing worse than bad comedy and entertainment. Because sometimes action, horror, and drama, if they're bad, they still have some potential to be funny to some degree. But comedy that tries to be funny and fails like this just makes me sick to my stomach. Konada.
is probably one of the most overrated anime characters I've ever seen. Oh. Her jokes are all bland. Her and her friends, whose names are forgot, are some of the most unfunniest, boring, dull Mole. excuses for hilarious comedy characters. Mole, 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 mole. If you just need a sleeping pill, just watch this anime. Even the music will put you to sleep from how boring it is. Oh, and before I move on, let me just say slice of life comedy anime is my least favorite genre. I only check this out because I want to see what the commotion is. Hint hint, don't recommend me any because chances are I most likely won't watch any. Call me biased or whatever, I don't care, the show blows. And I think it's safe to say, this show brings a lot of controversy too. Because even slice of life comedy fans I know would definitely agree this show is not for everyone. Number 3 Ikitosen What can I say about this one except good storyline concept wasted, excessive unneeded fan service, degrading to women, little to no character development at all. The story is about seven schools in Japan fighting each other with skilled male or female fighters to gain something. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother saying the full synopsis of the story because I'll have to resort to smashing my computer due to such a good concept wasted. Just go look it up, I'm not saying it. This show's fan service destroyed completely in my opinion. How so, you ask? Just look at this scene. You can't be one of the big four if you're scared of her name. <laughs> you too. What's that? You're scared too, over the fact that the Hao showed up. <laughs> you and I are not at all alike. <laughs> How is it? Your thick arms are now penetrating your body. Doesn't it feel good? This is ecstasy, right? <sighs> oh. Feels so good. Yes, that is very, very hot. But was it necessary? Not at all. Furthermore, who the f wants to be horny during an action scene, anyways? It's almost like trying to watch porn on one screen and on another screen you're trying to watch Transformers movie at the same time. You wouldn't know what the f to do. And the fan service is just so terrible sometimes. Their clothes rip off if a guy kicks them with normal shoes. Just look if you don't believe me. <laughs> now, I didn't see any blaze or sharp edges on shoes. How could that have happened? I mean, the show. It's just terrible. Not to mention the fact they make some of the girls in the show have the intelligence of a piece of bread. I mean, what girl in real life is as dumb as this? Hey to fight? Are you stupid? Don't you know what that bead means? Uh, you said stupid. The one who said it first is really stupid. Huh? This is strange. Sorry, I dropped it somewhere. Dropped it somewhere? Seriously, it's just not possible. Most of the time, the action scenes are just panty shots and tits jumping around. What's more is that there's four seasons of this trash. What the f man? How more degrading can you get? Actually, never mind. We haven't gone through a whole list yet. 